Oh, I think you all, you got it all in there. I know, I really, I miss it a lot, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you do. It's like, morning campers, or? Morning. Good morning. Good. Good. So Carrie just comes running out of the bedroom. Well, she's maybe not running. She's like, open this bag, you gotta see what's in it. I just found it in the back of the closet. First of all. I was looking for something specific. Where do we get that bag? Um, I got it from, I think it was Victoria's Secret. I um, ordered a swimsuit a long time ago. Like? Like 75 pounds ago. Carrie. Like when we met? Like before we met? Oh, actually no, this is a Lane Bryant bag. So not 75 pounds. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we got? Oh, I can oh my gosh, it's a beach bag. Yeah. It's one of our beach bags. What's this? <gasps> What's what is this? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. Is that the... What no, is it? Like oh, oh, my speaker! speaker. <laughs> I forgot all about that thing. I love it. Do you? it probably doesn't work anymore. That was a good speaker. We it so we could like plug it into the computer and watch movies. Yeah. There's hmm. bug spray. Let There's a deodorant in there. Oh, nice. Is it still good? There's Pepto-Bismol. Why do we have Pepto-Bismol in there? I wonder there? if it's opened. The Pepto? Yeah. Let's see. Yep. It is. It feels light. Mm. Did we... Oh, maybe... Yeah, oh, no, it's definitely open. Did one of us have an issue with a... Probably heartburn. When... What is this from? I think this deodorant... I bet this was the last time we went to girls weekend. This deodorant's still pretty good. Yeah, why not? Oh, not half of your yet. head was off. It's not pink. Remember we had the deodorant that was so old it turned pink? That was weird. It was yeah, weird. I do remember that now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna go put it in the back of the closet. I probably should take this brush out though. I need a different brush. Wow. You gonna use it? Yeah. Like you're gonna brush your hair with it? Yeah. When's oh, the last, last time week. you brushed your hair? Last week. Okay. It's so, just to give you guys an update, Harrison never went to sleep. But he stayed in there and played. He's still playing. And he's still playing? What's he, can I see it? What's he doing? It says it's almost too cold, but it's not. No, it's, it is not. This is where the sensor's placed. I can't even see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's just laying in bed, staring up at the camera because he knows we're watching him. Probably, yeah. You know, I read somewhere before this that it's good to put them in there even for quiet time. Oh, yeah. So he's in there getting his quiet time he's and he's all good to go. Time, yeah. And I don't know how it says his room is cold. It's 70 degrees in here and I'm burning up. I'm about to turn the fan on I up guess here. That's just where a sensor is located. There's not good, like, well, that's circulation. The he's calling for us. I think he's ready. I'll get him in a little bit. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling? I'm quite tired. You know, a lot of people have been asking how you've been feeling lately, and I realize we haven't really had time to sit down. And I do try to talk about it at least once a week. I know, but people might just miss, might just miss that. I know, I don't, wanna, so. I don't wanna talk about it too much, because some people are like, we know. <laughs> but then, <laughs> if I don't talk about it enough, then they. So why don't we label today's video baby day, or baby update, and mail opening. Mini mail day. Yeah. So then when people know, you know, like it's kind of like a, an unscheduled baby you know, update. You this, you're going to be like, what are we naming this one? Oh, of course. I've already forgotten. <laughs> so let's get a lo look at that stomach. No. It's not time for that yet. Looks good. <laughs> How you feeling? Um, I feel like garbage. Okay. You look <laughs> really beautiful. Cool. Thank you. I'm very tired right now, but, um... I feel nauseous pretty much from the time I wake up until about one o'clock. Yeah, so that's and, the same. And then sometimes I can eat food and sometimes I can't. Mm. And then I definitely get sick back in the evenings. I have a short window where, where I feel okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I haven't forgotten that we are pregnant for the last couple days though, like oh, two good. days. So that's good. I had a horrible dream about it last night though. You did? Yeah, I it was it was a rough one. I'm sorry. I love that you're taking a big giant bite of food. So headaches, anything like that? Mm -mm. Okay. Um what are some things from last time? Any swelling? 
-hmm. No. Baby's probably, what, about the size of an acorn right now? Mm, I don't know. I'd have to look. Okay. But, um, I don't, you don't seem, sw like, swelled. Like, your fingers, like, you're not taking your rings off. No. You had a little bit of swelling earlier on with Harrison. I don't recall that. I don't mean that you were a giant <laughs> swole. I don't remember. I think I remember you saying, I'll have to look up some old videos. Maybe I felt bloated. Oh, could have been bloated. Because I never had to take my rings off. Before. Right. I, I knew that, but I thought, you never had your shoes tight or something? Eh, maybe it was me. No, my feet stunk. What now? How do you remember that? Because I remember telling the, like doctor and midwife every time we went in. Sorry that my feet stink. Well, because your shoes. Maybe it's no, time. No, it was, it was related to the pregnancy. What? Other people said that. Their feet you stop. Stunk. This is the first time I'm hearing this. You remember. I remember your feet stunk, but I know, I thought it was because of your shoes. Mm -hmm. Harrison gave you stinky feet. Mm -hmm. Is that why you call him stinky and tooty? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> It's so cute. Today he like leaned down to get something from down there and right when he leaned down he went <laughs> And it's like he doesn't even phase him. He doesn't even know he's doing it That happens with all kids. I I guess I just I don't, I don't know. know for as many kids as I've been around I didn't know that I wonder like at what point We started getting embarrassed by that stuff because everybody toots. I remember tooting in school <laughs> like when I was in like kindergarten and first, no, like I remember tooting. At what point, as a culture, did we start getting embarrassed? Oh. Like, not just individually, but like as a group. Wow. When did we start saying that's inappropriate to do in public, even though it's a natural thing? You. My mind is blown right now. Maybe puberty? Maybe maybe we just automatically got embarrassed? Cuz I don't No, but I'm not saying individually. I'm saying as a culture. But like, I don't as remember... a group of humans, at what point in our history did we say did we start thinking that it was embarrassing? But what I'm telling you is I don't ever remember my mom or like any of my aunts, like my Aunt Ruth, I don't mm -hmm. remember anyone telling me don't toot in public. <laughs> like I don't, we don't do that. Like I don't remember mm -hmm. anyone ever oh, like, like in your family, like telling me, yeah, that oh we don't do that. Like so, we, do you think that's just like a natural instinct that you start to get embarrassed by it? I I think for me, yeah. I mean, because when it happens, people turn and look. And sometimes it smells. <laughs> Listen, I remember, like, I can even think, I can think of, I remember in fourth grade, mm -hmm. I think that's what grade I was in when the shuttle, um, maybe it was fifth. I'll have to look it up. But when the space shuttle blew up. Yeah. With the teacher on it. Mm -hmm. We were watching it in school. And I remember after it was done, like, after we saw it, and they hurried up and they move the TV, like turn the TV off and mm -hmm. bells were going off. They wanted to get us outside. It was silent again for a minute. And one of the kids in the class, his name was Jeff Manns, he farted and he <laughs> would push so hard down on the seat. So it would go like, because you know those wooden seats. Yeah. I mean, you move and everybody thought you farted. You're like, right, <laughs> And everybody would laugh. Yeah. But I remember him doing it and no one laughed. Oh. Like, no one thought it was funny. And I'm pretty sure I never tooted again in school. <laughs> because of that because moment? Because of that moment that oh. no one thought it was funny anymore. Hmm. Interesting. South Park did something similar on this, and I don't remember the episode name, but all of a sudden Stan was like playing music and it sounded like garbage. It was like like farting and garbage. It was like... Uh -huh. And everything he ate, he didn't like it. Like nothing, and it was because he was a little bit older than some of the other boys, so it was like they were trying to identify this point in time where we just stop liking stuff, oh. you know, and we move on. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering. Clearly, mine 
I've associated it with a memory for me, you know? Yeah. But it could have been, maybe that's just what I remember. I don't know. Of course, we got to leave it up to you guys. Like, what do you guys think? I mean, did your parents <laughs> tell you no more tootin'? What an interesting topic. <laughs> it's life, though. It hey, is. Man, this is I question a lot of life things. right now. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. So you're feeling good, then? Yeah, I mean, I feel good, but I feel like garbage at the same time. Well, as the other half of your coin, I think you look beautiful. Thank you. And I feel great. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I feel great about your pregnancy, about yes. our pregnancy. I mean, when I remember it. I'm thrilled, you know, obviously. Sure. And yeah. I knew it was a possibility, a strong possibility, since I was so sick with Harrison. So, like, I'm trying not to complain about it right because we're so lucky you know <laughs> somebody said something in the chat on sunday how they had to stop their fertility treatments and i don't remember their name. that's happening to a lot of people and it's happening to a lot i am so i don't know what you guys do like what you what you believe in who you believe in but We've been receiving like lots of call outs for, you know, um, like a shout out, prayers, positive vibes, whatever you do. There's a lot of people. Um, there's a couple of campers who have been MIA for a while now. And uh, it turns out they're going through some really rough times all over the state. Mm -hmm. You know, Oklahoma, Ohio. Um, The buns fell. <laughs> What's with this corner? I'm sitting here giving like a heartfelt message about campers and then something happens in this corner. Remember something was climbing out of the microwave a couple weeks ago? It wasn't or... climbing out. Anyway, there are a lot of campers out there going through stuff and a lot of people all over who have to stop treatments and who are sick and different things. So our hearts are with you guys all at this time. We love you and you know, if you guys feel the same way, please leave a separate message down below with just some hearts in it. And then maybe everybody can go and see and they'll think, hey, I'm going through a bad time. I'm going to take that heart. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, this little guy just got up. Are you ready for mail? Then? So we've been waiting to do mail for a while. Um, I don't know why we let it like we just wait. We should just open it right away. Go ahead. Gotta be really careful about addresses. Yeah. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's a book. What? Who's it's called the you're itsy, showing the front? It's careful. Itsy bitsy leprechaun. Here, show mommy. See? Look Whoa! That. Look at that. And it says, "Hi, Harrison. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Super Chase." Super Chase. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, feel free to check them out on Instagram too, guys. Two moms and our superhero. Super Chase is super awesome. So happy to be able to follow those uh, lovely, lovely folks. Yes. Let's see. There's a note in here. This is, says, enjoy your gift, Harrison. You're going to be the best big brother from Crystal and Kaylin Smith. Aww. What does it say, bud? Waiting for baby. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, this one was open. Yeah. It's a puzzle. I don't know who sent that. I don't either. I didn't see anything. It came empty, so. Or it didn't come with a name. So whoever sent that, thank you very much. Yeah. <clears throat> what is that? Do you need this? Because I got it for you. There's an address on the top of this one. And, and on top of this box right here. Okay. So be careful. Hold that. Right. Let me let me get this open. This says it's from Desiree. Oh. Oh. Hey, why why are we crying? Whoa whoa, why are we crying? Okay. Okay, put everything right here, bud. Teach him how to open things later. 
Oh, I think she wrote this. She did. She was just saying this in uh, the live. She sent, um... Oh, my goodness. Stickers? Scripter Corruptus? Holy smokes. Did you sign this? Uh, yes, she did. That's awesome. She did. Tiff and Carrie, thank you guys so much for being a light for me through these times. Oh, tough times, I'm sorry. Oh, really this address is fine. Camper for life. Little shout out for Harrison too. H-A-R-R-I squiggly S-O-N spells Harrison. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is, check this out here. I'm gonna read it through here. Uh, debut horror collection. Oh dang, this looks good. This is from Kristen Hale. Sorry, I'm really excited I, I, about this I'm not book. I'm trying to push past that book. Nope, I know he's getting excited. Yeah. We can't. But this is from Kristen Hale. Okay. And he likes those little popcorns. I know, but he cannot eat them. I know. I know. <gasps> no way! It's that candy. It's the Idaho Spud. Look at there's nothing else. In we there. will do that. Oh, don't eat that, son. That's not okay. candy. We're gonna throw them away. You guys, we'll open these in just a minute to see these. I'm excited. I'm so excited to try one. Oh my goodness, there's a whole box. And then this card uh -huh. is from Tammy Irvin. Okay. So. Oh no. Oh no. Hang on, buddy. I'm opening it. First, there's a note that says, Watch your mail for a big box from us. Oh. Growing family. That's so nice. Tish and Tammy. Tish and Tammy. The candy bar that makes Idaho famous. Idaho Spud. You want to try it, bud? Let's try it in a minute. Let's get. His... You can open one and let him try it. Okay. Yeah. All right, bud. <laughs> So the card says we are anxiously waiting for the bundle of joy you are expecting, Tish mm -hmm. and Tammy. There's a really nice note in here. Your friends in Iowa. Thank you. See, if you just taste that first bite, buddy, I promise you'll like it. You love marshmallow. You love chocolate. You love coconut. Mmm. Mm. You want to give Mama a bite? Can Mama have a bite? Cause you know we don't need to open. You want, the you want to look at you want to look at Desiree's book? No, oh, he wants it's peanuts. Go. Didn't know there was any over there. Yeah, there's two. There's one more. He's just dropping them on the floor. Oh, he's Thank cleaning up. You. Well, thanks, bud. Is it good, son? And then this last box is pretty he obvious that you need to open it. Okay. <laughs> Is Harrison gonna let me open it? There is a big address. I know. So I'm gonna open it this way? No, I'm not. I'm gonna open it this way. There's really no way. Well, it's our address, but I'm more worried about hers. Yeah, there we go. Tiff, <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, dang. Oh my god. Y'all have just spoiled me like rotten. It matches your shirt. Bud. What is it? Oh gosh, you guys, bloodlust. Oh, dang. Look at that, bud. Oh, dip. You taking that right out? Ooh, careful. Woo woo. Look at the colors. Those are pretty. You wanna see it? Okay, we'll see it in just a minute. Okay, let's see it in just a minute. So, Harrison is a little, um, I guess the kids use the words whinier. He literally just got up, probably four and a half minutes before yeah. we started filming. Feel it right there, feel it. Wow. Isn't that cool? What's this? Thank you so much, Tony. Oh no. Oh no, I wanna see it. 
I'll take this off, but don't put your fingers in it, okay? Okay. Also, don't, don't put your fingers those in are it. are really pretty colors. Oh, well, that was a little scary. Hi, bud. I'm sorry that you can't touch that makeup. Yeah. We don't want you to get it on your hands, and we don't want you to, you know, to eat it, of course. I'm sure it's safe, though, because mm -hmm. Jeffree Star does so well. You want to see the boxy box? Look at that. <gasps> he... He really likes looking at all the makeup. He does. I kind of want to find him, like go to like a like CVS or something like that, and find like a little palette mm -hmm. for him to just touch and like maybe put on paper. Yeah. For now, I I just don't think he understands. Yeah, we probably do. Yeah, before we go. I mean, obviously, we're not going outside for a long time. Um, but you know what I mean. Like, I think it would be neat for him because it is a different texture. It is. You know, it's not chalk. And I don't care that he does it. I just, I do cringe at the thought of him, like, scraping it with his fingernail. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, look, you can finally taste it now. What do you want? Do you want to open this and do this? It's a bit big. Yeah. Well, we could do it. Well, why don't we say bye for now because, <clears throat> mm, excuse me, because we gave our little update and we opened mail. And tomorrow we should have, um, not tomorrow, because tomorrow will be a day off, but um, Thursday we should have some new adventures coming your way, hopefully. Yeah. Um, hopefully we'll have the train table up um, and ready. The reason we didn't show it to you today was because uh, Mr. Wilson came over and brought it, and it was just a little bit shorter. The, yeah. the boards were a little bit shorter. Did we tell them what happened to it? Yes, we okay. told them, yeah, we let them know on Monday in the video that it got... Um, got wet a little bit when we had that flood it's okay it's okay yeah. but anyway yeah well sorry that for that delay guys um and that'll give us some time to make sure everything gets all kind of cleaned up in the living room too so yeah. anyway thank you so much you guys for thinking of our little family yeah thank um you so much. what's he doing he's ripping up the peanuts okay we're gonna get ready to say bye you want to boop no. you want a boopity boop well, we well you can play in there. You want to get that stuff? Okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity.